Hello YouTubers! It's June 20th, 2015 and there is so much to talk about today. I, I hope I can even get this in in two parts. So let's start off with, uh, we're less than 100 days from September 23rd folks. Uh, this is the, the month where so much is, is coming together that uh, we can barely get it all out. It seems that the, the, the world, and the church in particular, is under direct attack uh, from our enemy. And, it, and all his plans seem to be uh, culminating right now. Um, where to start? Where to start? Well, we're within 100, we're, with, we're within 10 days of the Supreme Court ruling on same-sex marriage. If you knew what this was doing, I, I mean, talk about poking a stick in the Almighty's eye. Do you know that when Manasseh killed so many kids in Jerusalem that the blood flowed in the streets, he did not strike Jerusalem down. But you know what he did strike down? Sodom and Gomorrah. Because this sin is a separate sin. Uh, Paul calls it a sin to the body. A sexual sin is a sin to the body. And, and I, I, you know, I wonder why uh, this particular sin seems to be so much more serious than other sins. Well, it goes against the very first commandment. Be fruitful and multiply. Anybody who, out there who has children understands that when you have a child, something supernaturally happens. You, you, you have a, a pinch of what I call agape love, a, a very pinch of what of understanding of what the father has for us because you'll lay your life down for that child uh, it's a feeling that you, you don't even understand there's this blood bond and uh, yes I know that if you work in nurseries you love children and if you adopt them you love them and, and there's a, but if you have a blood child something supernaturally happens and what are we doing we're killing them now Billy Graham's daughter this week, she quoted uh, 60 million. It's, it's closer to 57, but does it really make a difference? Glenn Beck this week, you know, they called on the view Whoopi Goldberg this week about, uh, because they're not just pushing this same sex. Now they're still trying to, there's uh, several other prongs. When we thought that they could do all they could do with abortion, now they're trying to kill late term babies. You should have seen Glenn Terms, uh, or Glenn Beck's face this week when he watched a video and to listen to him I mean as he's as he's watching it, he's like oh my god the blood oh no they're gonna they ripped his head this is murder murder and I watched that video and it was sickening that was a full grown child yeah. and they want to legalize that my oh my do you not think that this is Oh my goodness! So you've got that, and you've got the same-sex marriage. You know, Chuck Misler was on the um, uh, Jim Baker show, and I'm going to quote him on a few things today because what a you know you look at this 81-year-old, what a patriarch for our generation, what a man of God. The wisdom it just oozes out of him. Uh, I, I just know one of the atheists hates Chuck Misler. Well, for one thing, you know he scientifically proves that the Bible is the word of God. And that's the whole thing. I can quote scriptures all day long, but if people don't believe the Bible is the word of the God, you know, I mean, the scriptures will, you know, do their job. They won't come back void. But, uh, oh, the, the atheists hate him. So anyway, uh, he was talking about the wrath of God, Chuck Misler was. And, um, you know, there are several wraths. You've got the eschatological wrath that's in Revelation. You've got... Um, the catastrophic wrath that Noah experienced, uh, Lot experienced, then you have the abandonment wrath of God. You know, you look at Samson, he woke up one morning, the Philistines were on him, and, and he couldn't break the bonds. God had abandoned him, and he didn't even know it. He wasn't even aware of it, and neither were we at 911, because I believe that God withdrew part of his uh, hedge of protection for America that day, and we experienced some abandonment. And how scary to wake up one day and to realize he has abandoned you. So, we have two prongs the enemy is really coming at us full force with. 
and uh, I know a lot of us are looking at this um, uh, vote from the United Nations this week but you know what even if they vote the other way look what Ireland did they took it to the people and the people voted for it now you're looking at a country that's 62 percent Catholic 